I've been as I've had um, everything apart. Um, I thought I'd do another upgrade, well, modification rather than an upgrade. And um, I've got real high hopes for this one. Um, it was um, on MakerBot user groups. Um, and a guy called Adam P uh, posted it um, earlier uh, this week. And basically, what he found was um, this is the stainless steel um, sort of um, insulation uh, retainer, I suppose you could call it, uh, for the build plate. Okay, so you imagine that on there, like that, yeah. And then you've got some um, little machine screws that hold the two together like a sandwich, yeah. And what he was saying makes a lot of sense um, is that the aluminium and the stainless steel obviously don't, are different materials, uh, quite vastly different materials. And with, when the sandwich is created and clamped tightly together and the bull plate is heating, so you get the aluminium plate that wants to move and ex expand and the stainless steel, which is insulated as well, which doesn't help, um, and cold is retaining, staying in the same position. Um, and it's been held in those points. So the material has to go somewhere and the way it does it deals with it is it warps um, because it's been held. Um, so what he suggested doing was to open up the holes um, that clamp the stainless steel plate uh, to the to the aluminium plate to allow it literally to almost float. Hopefully you can see that. So as it heats up, rather than warping, the material in the aluminium will just expand and go where, it's, where, it, where it can. So. Um, and then obviously when you put the, um, your screws, your machine screws back in again, you don't want to do those up tight. So you want it to, to move. You want that top plate to actually be able to move with, um, as it expands with the heat. Um, so what I done, did basically was to, I just popped in the garage and drilled out these holes here to four mil. Um, and the M3s, I think, I think these are M3s. And then what I've done is I've put some, um, in the UK we call it um, copper slip, and use it on brakes. I think mean, someone in the post actually recommended doing this, or th used it, thought this might be a good idea. So I've got that as well on there. And then what I'll do is I'll, I've got some M4 washers, um, which I'll put on there as well. So just help encourage everything to move, but still keep it reasonably clamped. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I've got high hopes for this one. It makes a lot of sense. Um, the build plate is still warped because um, the previous build plate I had to this one here, you know, I actually scanned off the off the machine um, in the cool state, and that was still warped. You know, it's all over the place. Um, and I'm sure if I do the same with this one here in the cold state, um, I'd I'd find it warped. Um, but what's going to happen now, hopefully, is that isn't going to um, get worse as the difference in material temperatures changes. So, fingers crossed, um, we'll see how we get on. Okay, I'll put it back together now. Okay, I've done all that again. Um, these are actually M3s, the machine screws, and the hole I drilled in the stainless steel is M4 uh, mil, and these are M4 washers. Um, I've just nipped them up, I've put some blue thread lock on them as well. Um, some of that on it as well, to, um, because they're only going to be nipped up, not talked up. Um, and you can actually move it, if it's, just like, it's quite hard, but at least as, this, as, this, as the two temperatures changes, um, hopefully it's not going to increase the, the way that how badly warped the um, build plant is. So yeah, we'll see, I'll have to get back to you on how good it is. Um, but yeah, it makes a lot of sense to me, it makes a hell of a lot of sense to me. So, my, when I actually took the plate off, these were done up really, really tight, you know what I mean? So you could really understand, there's a lot of structure, a lot of support and strength in that little stainless steel plate there with the folds on. So you can really understand why it was, um, would warp more when it's heated up, so it explains a lot really. So yeah, um, I think that's a really good idea. Um, yeah, really good idea Adam, thank you.